What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is April 9th, 2020. We are at home quarantining, staying safe, and I'm actually outside right now. And about a week ago, there was a baby horse that was born. And today is going to be the first day that the horse is actually going to come outside and see the world. My dad is getting ready. Hello everyone. What are we going to name the horse? Well, we, we haven't decided yet, but uh, there's something on my mind regarding a great uh, Apache Brave that lives on these lands. This colt is ready to go out and stretch a little bit and know, know the place. Decidimos revisar el potrillo antes de dejarlo salir, que esté bien, cuidarlo los primeros días, y ya se encuentra listo, así de que here we go. Right now, hopefully you can enjoy this uh, little video and thank you Karina for letting the people know what's, uh, what's about on, on this uh, great place. day but it's actually Friday <laughs> and we are finally enjoying our pool it's still a little bit fresh it's not super duper hot but my mom couldn't wait to jump in so um, we're gonna jump into the pool I have some agua de alfalfa that my grandma made super delicious if you know you know hi mom hi. ¿Cómo está el agua? ¿No está fría? And luego Champy, he gets scared whenever we go into the pool. He thinks we're in trouble or something. Yeah, <laughs> he gets scared. And these guys don't really care much. But we're just relaxing. Va a venir a... 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 Va
A, sacu a sacudirse en frente de todos. No, 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 pues ya, ya, ya se sacudió. ¿Te perdías agua limpia? Toma, toma. Wow, okay, calm down. You guys don't even let me start. Hi guys, happy quarantine. It's April 16th. I have no makeup. I definitely am just enjoying life in this quarantine, not worrying about makeup. But the dogs got today a bark box. I just subscribed to this uh, because we do have three large dogs and they fight over their toys and stuff. So I figured it would be a good idea. They don't know what's in here, so I'm excited to show them. Look guys, we got a bark box. Let's see what's in here. Night at the squeezing. Look at how cute this looks guys. They have a bunch of toys. They have some treats. Champ already got the first one. Here Polo, we have more things. Do you like it Polo? Look at all those new toys. And dog goes over there running. You got a new toy. And then they got a lot of treats guys. So the theme is kind of like bootlegging. 1920s um, party dog and dolls and Paul is just like selecting his and then it's really cute because all of the toys or some of the toys have like names in the back and then they have a lot of treats okay that's my hard working dad over there <laughs> I have a meeting right now with my Sherm team and I'm gonna come out like this they're waiting here and we're gonna see what they say. Hi guys, how's everybody doing? <laughs> because I got the virus. Just kidding, no, just kidding, I don't have the virus. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's giving me that my dad has masks, but I've, I haven't worn it, so. Se me antojo usarla. everybody happy april 21st today i'm gonna go on a run with polo i've been going on runs because it's good for my soul to get out and breathe some fresh air and run with polo and just be out there it's better than being stuck here at home um, it is tuesday and tuesdays and thursdays i usually do homework or school related stuff because those were the days where i would actually go to school but since of this quarantine and everything, everything's online, so I just kind of want to keep the same routine. That way I don't fall behind on school. I only have like four more weeks before I graduate. Yay! So yeah, today is actually like a school day, so it's a little bit more chill. So those are the days that I kind of go around with Polo. The rest of the days I do my internship online too, which is kind of weird to do it online. <laughs> but I'm managing it, and my internship ends in like... Four weeks or three weeks and I need to find an actual job so if anybody knows of any HR opening positions here in El Paso Texas let me know because I'm kind of freaking out about that I've been job hunting for like two weeks now applying everywhere um, but we, because of this coronavirus everything's on a freeze so it's a great time to be a college senior guys so anyway I want to take you guys on my run with me I know this vlog is kind of all over the place um, but it's just kind of, you know, what I've been doing, hanging out, not really anything crazy. So, let's go on a run. Polo's over here arguing with... The neighbor's dogs. <laughs> this is my house, guys. <laughs> we're almost there, guys. I let Paulo lose already. Because we're already here in the ranch. And he likes to go see the, the little goats. What are those? Are those little goats? Oh, look at the little goats. You're so little, huh? Whew, got a good sweat on. We're not there yet, Paula. Come on. <laughs> we made it home. 
This is where Champion and Doggo live. <laughs> and we're gonna let them out now. We're gonna let them out. And they get super excited to see Polo. And they just play with each other and jump and get all crazy and rowdy. The horses are out as well. Oh, let's check on the baby horse. Hi, Mary. Hi, babies. Hi, Mary girl. All right. <laughs> we are back from the run. I got a nice sweat going, which is exactly what I wanted. When I was on prep, I would do fasted cardio, which means that you do cardio first thing in the morning and an empty stomach. So that is for your body to use your fat to as energy. So instead of doing it like cardio in the afternoon, your body's gonna use whatever you ate, whatever food you have, they're gonna use it as energy. So fasted cardio, I'm a true, true believer in fasted cardio. I feel like that's one of the reasons why I had gotten really lean. My piggy tails fell. I had little chonguitos here. Uh, pero se me cayeron porque estaba corriendo mucho, no sé. But I tried to do chonguitos so that I... Because last time I, I went to sleep with a chongo. And then when I woke up and I let it down, like my hair looked all curly. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do two chongos this time. But, I mean, I'm not going anywhere. So, yay. So, I do wear this one underneath my long sleeve. And... I kind of want to show you guys how, I guess that's good, I have to go like this. <laughs> so, as you can see, look at all of this water stains. It is because all of this, this fat is leaving my body. So, I'm happy whenever I go on a run and I take this off and it's so shiny and gross. And okay guys, so I showered, we made breakfast. My dad had the idea of making breakfast sandwiches. So we both made some breakfast and I decided to just go with one bread, not two. So it's just the bread, some cheese, ham, the eggs that my dad made, some also uh, potatoes and coffee. coffee. Yes, we cannot miss our coffee. And I'm really enjoying, my favorite thing about being in quarantine so far is that I get to have breakfast with my dad and my brothers and we get to spend more family time together. Even though everybody has their own things like school and work and things like that, the mornings we kind of get to spend together, so that's kind of nice. I heard some meowing and I didn't see the cat. And then I saw something move. What are you doing? Hey, Lena. Come on, get out of there. What are you doing, silly? <laughs> so, it is a Wednesday night, or well, afternoon, I should say. And all I'm doing is really just doing a bunch of homework. As you guys can see, I have all of my, my laptop here. I'm researching some things. I'm taking care of some mail that I need to take care of. But something that I've been wanting to do already since the beginning of this month was to see how much money I have saved because I usually, whenever I would get paid, I save like one third of my paycheck. I try to save it and I would just transfer it over to my savings account. And it was great and everything, but I would see it there. So if I needed to buy something or I needed money for something, I would just like transfer it back. So it really made no sense for me to just transfer money to my savings just to end up transferring it back to my checkings. So one time, one of my coworkers, Whitney told me that she saved money in a wine bottle and I was like, hey, I have a bunch of those. And she said that she just saved money and she just stuffed money in there and that way you cannot take it out. So last year in April, exactly a year ago, I decided to go ahead and try it and I've actually had, I don't know, a good amount. Sometimes I would forget to put money in there. I would get my paycheck and I would just like not save. But other times, I definitely would say. So I stuffed in here like 20s. I think I stuffed a $50 bill once. Um, so it's all full of dollars. And I want to really open it and see how much money I have saved in here. The trick is that I don't know how to open it. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to, I'm going to have to break it. I mean, there's no way of taking out the money in here. So let's break it. Let's see how much money I have saved. So we're going to put it inside of this costal and then I'm going to smash it on the on the grass over there. Paul, are you going to help me smash it? And then we're going to count it up and see how rich your mom is. Okay? <laughs> Let me see. Let me hit it. 
Let me hit it. Get broke. Let me hit it. Not yet. Let me hit it. Let me hit it. We gotta take out the money without getting cut. A ver, vamos adentro. Ay, no me quiero cortar. Me siento como un, un narco sacando dinero de un costal. Para nada. Pero nomás son de a dólar, Karina. Sí, pues. Un <risa> All right, guys. So, how much money do you guys think you got? Any bets? Ready? <laughs> I only got three hundred and ninety-one dollars. I was hoping that I would at least make it over four hundred, but I was nine dollars shy on a year of savings. Uh, no, to be honest, sometimes I would just forget to like stuff money in there so I wouldn't put any money. But I mean, three hundred ninety-one dollars without meaning to. It's not bad for a whole year. Um, I'm going to definitely do it again. I'm going to drink a bottle of the wine just so I can save money. <laughs> I'm going to drink a bottle of wine, clean it out. I actually think I have a bunch of bottles of wine saved. I don't know why me and my family have this habit of not throwing away our bottles of wine. So we're just like, no, let's keep it. It's a memory. Yeah, we're hoarders of that. But uh, I'm definitely going to do it again. Try and save for another year. I'm going to try to make it a $500 this time. And this money I'm definitely not gonna touch. I'm gonna save it again on uh, either, I don't know, somewhere. I have to think of somewhere where I cannot see it and I cannot take it out. Because if I go deposit it in the bank, it's gonna be so easy to buy things online. So, what do you guys think? Leave on the comments below where you think I should keep this money safe and sound. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out these couple of days with me. I know we've been quarantined. I've been actually pretty busy with school and work and trying to find a job. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave me a, com a comment below and anything you guys want to talk about. And I will see you guys on the next vlog. Ciao!